This is your Monday morning update on the tropics, and it certainly has been just so active. We now have three hurricanes in the Atlantic. This is the first time in recorded history that this has happened after September, which is also the peak month for hurricane season. We're going to focus on Milton. Milton is now a major hurricane. It is a category three in the southern Gulf, but even ahead of Milton, we're looking at rain across areas of Florida. Heavy rain at times, especially along that coastline. The latest update has Milton as a category three with max sustained winds of 125 miles per hour and a well-defined eye wall. So we're looking at this and we're looking at model trends. As far as landfall goes, models have quite the disagreement. Every line that you see there is a different model output for potential landfall. It can be anywhere north of Tampa to as far south as Marco Island, that's south of Fort Myers, along the west coast of Florida. As of now, it does look like landfall is trending closer towards the Tampa area. So as a Category 3 right now, it will strengthen to Category 4 strength in the next 24 hours. We are expecting it to take a slight turn towards the Yucatan Peninsula, eventually making its way towards the eastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. We'll eventually see landfall sometime late Thursday. Right now, it looks like it will be slightly weaker as it's making landfall to a Category 3. That's still considered a major hurricane. It will contain its hurricane status as it moves over Florida and then eventually moving out into the Atlantic before the weekend. Landfall right now looks to be late Wednesday into very early Thursday. This is what it looks like as far as rainfall goes. You see that as it's strengthening to a category four storm ahead of that storm, we're still seeing some of the outer bands making it into the Tampa area and then eventually landfall sometime very late Wednesday into Thursday as a category three or higher. Either way, it does look like the worst part of this will be along the southern half of the western Florida coastline. That's where we have hurricane watches and tropical storm watches in place anywhere from Florida's Big Bend all the way south towards the Florida Keys. Storm surge will be the worst around the Tampa Sarasota area and to the south anywhere between 8 to 12 feet. Remember, storm surge does not include the rain that comes from the hurricane. This is just water that's getting pushed inland, water that is rising. So think of just a wall of water that kind of just gets pushed in. We'll still see some of those impacts along Florida's Big Bend and areas to the south of, of uh, Fort Myers. As far as rainfall goes, six to eight inches generally, but localized totals up to 12 inches. Now, as we approach landfall, we will likely see some changes in the track shifted north or south. So be sure to stay updated with the latest forecast right here on WFAA.